need to call them anymore, though, do you? Because everybody has smartphones, and that's a whole thing. And, that, and I don't, I don't have, uh, I don't have like a really. I, I do have a smartphone, but I don't have like an iPhone. And it's shit, and I don't really like them. Uh, I don't like because I think also well, for, for a kickoff, I think they screw up the dynamic in pubs. Because uh, I don't know what your relationship's like with your mates, but the last thing I need when I'm in a pub with my mates getting fucked up, the last thing I need conversationally is access to facts. <laughs> Personally, I was looking forward to an evening of anecdotal evidence and blind conjecture. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not. I prefer that. I don't want them to come in telling me how the world is. When was the last time reality did you any favours? <laughs> but also, I don't like them because I don't like what they do to the human face. Uh, I think there's such a thing as iPhone chin. You've probably seen it on the train or on the bus. It's this. It's just... unseemly, isn't it? I think if you take the iPhone out of that occasion, you look like somebody who's had a stroke, <laughs> sat in the day room conducting along to Classic FM. <laughs> Time for your mushy peas, Albert. Fuck off! <laughs> I'm conducting Tchaikovsky. I'm really glad you laughed at that, because that can go either way. <laughs> I did that joke in front of quite a weird crowd. They were quite... Um, they were quite, actually, you know, the front row were nice. They, the, the front row were sort of young professionals. They were there with their haircuts and things. And No, they were nice. They were all right. They, they, I asked them what they do, and they said, oh, yeah, we all work in events. Now, I know, no, no, come on. I know that's, that, that is a job, and there's probably some people here who work in events. That's fine. But I think to my parents' generation, that is such an amorphous job title, isn't it? It's like saying, what do you do? Oh, I work in occurrences. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking to move into phenomena, but... You know. <laughs> Very competitive, you know. But they were all right. I like them because everyone else in the room. I, I'm not just doing this for the sake of like sort of shitty, shitty class warfare. Everyone else in that room, every man jack of them, they were all bankers. It was a gig like quite near the city, and I was doing that bit I did a minute ago about the iPhones back there behind me in time. I was doing that bit, and I asked them casually, "Does anyone here have an iPhone?" And there was just this collective fart of privilege, just <laughs> yeah, it just rose out of the audience, and I lost it. And I was like, "What is it like?" What must it be like to be you? Was it like waking up in the morning and going, is there anything to eat, darling? I don't know. There might be some cold swan in the fridge. 